We're gonna do section 8.6, it's called parametric equations. Parametric equations are ways to express a line, x and y, in terms of a third variable. Usually that third variable is t. Um, you really need two things to write a vector equation of a line. You need a point and you need a parallel vector. We'll call that parallel vector a. Um, you see that our point 1 is x1, y1, and our point 2 is x2, y2. If you want to write the vector from p1 to p2, you say p1, p2 is some number t times vector a. And that's the vector form of a line. Usually it makes a little more sense when we actually plug in some numbers. So here's a point, and here's the vector it's parallel to. Drop those numbers in there just like you would, um, and you've got your equation of a line. Now if you take that equation, that vector equation, you can set the two parts equal to each other. The parts I underlined in red and orange, those are equal. And if you set them equal and solve, you've got your two equations, um, two parametric equations. And you could graph those. If you go to your calculator and try to graph in parametric mode, you can do that. If I give you a slope-intercept form and say, hey, write as a parametric, um, you can be real slick about it. Let x equal t, and now y equals 1 half t plus 7. Uh, last example, if I give you two parametrics and ask you to write in slope-intercept form, easiest way is to take each one to solve for t. Since you know those are both equal to t, set the two parts equal to each other and solve, and you've got your equation in slope-intercept form. There you go.